Hello, YouTube family. It is Erica with Try by Fire Ministry. I'm, I'm back again. <laughs> um, I have um, another dream that I want to release. This one is a dream that actually it's a series of dreams that God has given me, and I knew it was time to release because this makes the actual fourth time that I've dreamt it in in you know comparison it's the same it's similar than the ones before and it's about the great deception uh, the great falling away and you know when I was young I you all most of you guys know that I was a dreamer I had dreams every once in a while things that would would come to pass, but, you know, when I gave my life to Christ is when he used that anointing uh, for him, for his glory, and it is all for his glory, and he opened my eyes to spirit, and he took the veil off and opened my ears to his voice, and I started having all these dreams and things that I'd never seen before, things that I'd never heard of before, things that wasn't happening in my church that I was at the time, things that I'd never heard of, um, but I'd had a series of dreams of aliens, and I think I have released a couple on here uh, where I've seen them, uh, where I was standing in a yard, and they come off the mountain, three big tall, four, four or five big tall aliens, I don't remember, it's in my book, my dream book here, but they came down, and they were crawling toward me, and I was putting my hand out saying, Jesus. And each time I said that, they backed up. And on 127, uh, I had another dream of the aliens. And in this dream, it was dark outside, and there were young kids there. And I was praying over them. I had my hands laid on them, and I was it's touching them and praying over them. And my youngest son was there. He's 19 now. But in the dream, he was, you know, a young, like 11 or 12 you know, a kid, and there was a few more with him, and I, like I said, I was praying over them and touching them. They were falling out in the spirit, and we got into this little barn, and I heard something, and I knew that the aliens had came, and of course, as most of you all know, and some of you may not know that aliens are demonic. They're demonic spirits, but I knew that they had came in the dream, and I told the kids, I said, run. And they started running. And I stepped out and I saw all of them, these, these little aliens running around. And they almost, my, my child and another little girl fell. And I jumped in front of them so they would get me. And I said, run. And they ran. And when I jumped, I started fighting them. And one of them stabbed me. I don't remember. Uh, I don't really know what it was, but like marked me course that's what an enemy does he marks you you know the enemy knows us just in the bible the enemy knows us when the sons of Sceva went to cast out you know they said I, I know Jesus and I know Paul I don't know who you are so they know us they know uh, you know who we are and so the kids ran and I fought him and then everybody started shutting their doors they were afraid they started getting underground and hiding and I was out there myself fighting them I was grabbing them they were these big blobs. I was tearing them apart, um, you know, left and right, just fighting and pulling them away from people's doors. And then I woke up. And that now the, the dream that I'd had, I had four alien dreams. The one that I had before was just when I was first saved a few years ago. And it, it wasn't nothing really significant. I just know I remember saying they're coming. And I was sitting in a house with someone. It was dark. And I remember seeing the lights out. And I said, they're coming. But that was the first one. And the second one was when they came down from the mountains, and I was saying, Jesus, Jesus. And then this third one was of my son and kids. And I had another one, um, forgive me, this is five dreams I've had of them. I had another one where um, I remember, I don't remember the whole aspect of the dream, but it was last year. Um, I looked up and these spaceships were coming and they were taking our little young kids up. And I remember going and trying to hit them and, you know, I'm always battling with them. So last night I had a dream of them again. 
And this is in actuality the, the fifth time, if you add them all together, that I've had the dream of this great deception that is coming. And in this dream, last night, we were outside, and it was a beautiful day. The sun, it was just gorgeous. And there were cars all parked around, and I looked over, and I seen kids with their dogs playing. And they had looked like um, the dogs had little angel wings on them, you know, like a costume. And the kids had Mary and Joseph costumes. And uh, I knew it was kind of like a revival time. And uh, people were singing and parked out in this big, beautiful you know, like field, and it was so sunny. And I remember I was going to sing, because sometimes I do uh, sing in church or, you know, on the streets, wherever God leads me to. So I was walking up on the hill, and I looked, and I saw this little silver spaceship start coming down in my face. And I remember grabbing my hand and saying, in the name of Jesus, and then boom, here comes the aliens. But this time, they didn't look like aliens. They look like us. They look like old women. They were like four or five of them that looked the same. Then there were somebody in suits. They were men, tall men in suits. And then some of them looked like women, old women and this and that. And I remember going up to one of them and putting my hand on his head. And I was saying, Jesus, Jesus. And his eyes started turning colors and they, he fell out. And then I was, there were so many. And I was trying. I was going up to other ones and putting my hand on because I knew they were coming. I knew, and the thing is, all with them, they had this robot smile on their face. This smile, this sevious smile. And I was putting my hands on them, trying, but they just kept coming in groups. And, they, you know, they were falling out. And I was, and I woke up. And I knew, I knew it was the great deception. I knew. Um, I want to read you what God had given me. Um, it's in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 through 12. But I want to read some of the scriptures. And it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except come a fallen away first. And that man of sin be revealed in the son of perdition. Who opposeth and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Um, and then it's, you know, it goes on and it, it talks about, um, and God's going to send a strong, a strong delusion. And they should believe a lie. And this it's going to show the signs and wonders and, and, you know, all that. And, you know, I mean, have you all noticed that there is more and more people seeing aliens, seeing spaceships? Um, I'm not saying they're going to come down as that. God didn't show me that. He didn't say they're coming as that. But I do know they're coming. And I do know they're going to deceive many deceive many false signs and wonders the thing that they're after is our children every time that i had this dream it was with the young generation the last generation so we gotta step up my friends we gotta walk when god says walk we gotta speak when he says speak our children this next generation is depending on us to do what god has called us to do do not be deceived do not be deceived. God says to shine a light, to expose the enemy. Don't be ignorant of his devices. Now, the enemy's not going to like it. You may get some, some warfare, and that's what's going on right now. People are coming out of the caves. God is calling his people out of the caves. You know, the enemy has growled at us far too long. He's thrown rocks at us. He has tried to intimidate us. Hallelujah. But this is the time, saith the Lord, to come out from among them come out of the caves start speaking what he has showed you start speaking what he has told you stand up if no one else is doing it stand up for the next generation be ye not deceived hallelujah be not deceived my friends for what is coming i went the other day to get some Christian books at the bookstores, Barnes and Noble here in Kentucky. And I haven't been in a long time. I took my youngest son there. He likes 
you know, like going and looking at the magazines. And I went over to the Christian section. And there wasn't but maybe two or three shelves. The rest of the shelves were full of tarot cards, of extraterrestrial stuff, of mind control. I mean, all kinds of false religion, all kinds of witchcraft. I mean, they were there were shelves full of those. So let's not be deceived in this hour. For the great falling away is going to cause many, even Christians, being deceived, my friends. My kitty's crying. She's wanting out. So pray. Pray into it. Ask God to direct you. Ask God about any word that anyone gives you, even my word. Pray to God. He will shine a light. He will show you the truth. He'll take the veil off your eyes. And he'll open your ears up to what he is saying. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So let's glorify him today. Praise God. And let's not be deceived. Let's teach our children. Let's walk and get out. Get out in this world. Be the remnant that God has called us to be. A remnant is a small piece of cloth, of his cloth, of his train. Hallelujah. But it's a small piece. And you know what happens? The remnant is a part that gets usually dirty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I felt Ooh, I felt the glory of God on that. It is a part of the cloth that usually drags whoo, the ground and gets dirty. Praise God. So we got to get out there sometimes. We got to get dirty. And the places that the remnant, most of the remnant has come from is the dirt. Praise God. Because that's where the gems are. Whoo! Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I love you guys. God loves you. Glorify his name today. The name above all names. We'll talk soon.